With Cristiano Ronaldo grabbing all the attention of late, you could almost be forgiven for not noticing the emergence of a certain Argentine teenager at Old Trafford. Manchester United's 18-year-old, player of the month for November and hero against Fulham has United fans on their feet once more. Surprisingly, the fact that he did not go to the World Cup with Argentina has supporters shocked. So who is Alejandro Garnacho and what do United legends and fans think of the talented winger? Alejandro Garnacho is a winger who was born in Madrid and is eligible to play for both the Spanish and Argentine national teams. He moved to United in October 2020 as a 16-year-old. He won the FA Youth Cup and the Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year Award, which is basically an award given to the best player in United's academy. If you're a young player at Manchester United and you're a forward, you've got to have arrogance and passion as well. He's just delivered a moment of absolute brilliance. The hero is Garnacho. Gary Neville could not hold back his praise after watching Garnacho's outstanding performance from the bench against Fulham. He said that the goal reminded him of a young Cristiano Ronaldo, scoring against the very same opponents nearly 15 years back. Perform under stress, and he came in and made a big impact. The same as Thursday. Even Ten Hag was effusive in his praise after having criticized him before for his arrogance and attitude. He knew that Garnacho had turned it around and been consistent in his performances and had fully deserved his moment in the spotlight. Legendary Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon described Alejandro Garnacho's presence of mind and positioning as particularly impressive, especially given Garnacho's young age. This was fresh after Garnacho's match-winning performance in the game against Fulham, where he terrorized defenders the moment he was brought on off the bench. He's so quick off the mark, he's running at you, so it's very difficult for defenders, and he's learned that already, at a young age. He knows what defenders don't like. They don't like pace and they don't like being run at. And the finish, the strength to hold off players, it was a brilliant bit of skill. And it was only a matter of time before we saw more of it. Garnacho's talents are so raw. But you can already tell that he's going to be a big star if he continues the way he's playing already. There's an air of arrogance around him, even though he's just 18. His teammate Lindelof in the post-game interview praised Garnacho's attitude and suggested that it was his very arrogance that gave Garnacho the fearlessness to charge straight defenders to beat them. Legendary United midfielder Paul Scholes had this to say about the young Argentine. This club loves entertainers. It was like a young Cristiano Ronaldo taking the ball down. I was impressed. Sometimes wingers, sometimes they can't go down that left-hand side, but he could do both and it makes you so unpredictable. I think his performance was exciting for an 18-year-old kid, but he was one to look for the future. He's a player with attacking flair, similar to the Brazilian Gabriel Martinelli at Arsenal. He's very direct and just lifts his head and charges at the defenders. His fearlessness lets him attempt almost audacious tricks on the regular on the left wing. He's an absolute nightmare for defenders. With his quick feet and surprisingly calm finish, he's going to become a handful for the Premier League very soon. Still not as strong as you would expect from an 18-year-old since he's still developing. Garnacho has proven that despite his size, he's still going to be overwhelming for even the world's best defenses. In the under-21s, Garnacho already won the Player of the Year award last year, and he was also the top scorer and assist maker on the team. Although Garnacho has yet to nail a starting spot since his appearances have some courtesy of Jadon Sancho's illness and Cristiano's so proper, rather than him naturally making it to the team, but he has seized the opportunity with both hands. Let there be no mistake who Garnacho's idol is, and it's the man he shared the dressing room with, Cristiano Ronaldo. You can see how Garnacho imitates a young Cristiano, especially with his reliance on his explosive pace and guile to move past defenders. Similar to Ronaldo, Garnacho also likes to cut in from the left wing onto his more dominant right foot and score from those positions. Competition for a spot on the left wing is tough at United. However, with Rashford preferring to come in from the wing, Jadon Sancho also operating on the left wing while Anthony occupies the right. A certain Anthony Alanga also emerging at United over the past few weeks, and a resurgent Anthony Martial. With the termination of Cristiano Ronaldo's contract to add to this, you can be certain that United will bring in either a striker or a left winger to provide genuine cover for their first team players. Talented though Garnacho may be, and United legends and fans are right to be excited by him. He's still not good enough to be thrust into the spotlight at such a young age. The responsibility of carrying a United attack cannot lie with an 18-year-old, and Ten Hag will more likely use these experiences to teach Garnacho rather than bring him more and more first-team opportunities. And even if it's not just meant to be a learning opportunity for him, Garnacho also provides a very different dimension to United's attack. Although he's certainly a 
player that cuts onto his stronger right foot to finish chances. What's remarkable about him is how he hugs the wings until the very last moment. When United is in possession, Garnacho does not make runs similar to Rashford or Ronaldo from the start, where he's cutting inside diagonally as the ball is played across to him. Instead, you find him hugging the touchline, forcing defenders out towards him, leaving more space for his strikers and wingbacks to charge into. It also allows Christian Eriksen to play with more freedom behind him. His quick feet allow Garnacho to get into more dangerous positions from the byline, where he charges directly at defenders from near the edge of the pitch, giving himself space to be explosive while also allowing his teammates to position themselves in the box and occupy defenders. Letting Garnacho steam through, where the only way you stop him is to either shake him off the ball or to bring him down. Otherwise, he's certain to create a goal-scoring opportunity. United fans have rightly been excited about the latest academy product after some strong displays, especially in November, when Garnacho was brought into the first-team fold. His impressive performances in the Europa League against Real Sociedad and FC Sheriff first where he showed glimpses of his immense talent, when he was starting and just how difficult it can be to contain him, and then in the substitute appearances against Aston Villa in the League Cup, and then Fulham, where he took both games by the scruff of the neck and brought United the victory. United fans and then soon the Premier League began to take notice of the young Argentine winger, who had played with Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo both, and was learning from them. Jamie Redknapp would comment on Garnacho's match-winning performance after the game by highlighting Garnacho's attitude. The best players have the rascal gene. You don't want a team of Gary Neville's. The greats have a bit of devilment about them. After these appearances, fans were quickly expecting a World Cup call for the young winger, but it never came. Argentina had decided that he was still too young to be called up to the team, and Garnacho, despite a very impressive October and November, was simply not good enough. But the fact that an 18-year-old has impressed so much so fast that he's being considered an automatic shoe-in to a team filled with world-class talents and a 36-game unbeaten run is impressive in its own right. But thankfully, the situation can be likened more to Argentina's belief that Garnacho is one for the future and not one to be risked at the World Cup already. He's made it to the Argentina squad for the World Cup qualifiers already, but he hasn't gotten the chance to don the sky blue just yet. If he continues to develop under Ten Hag in the same way, then Alejandro Garnacho might just become a player that'll be impossible to forget.